Hi everyone. I've been noticing a few things that bother me when I watch people copy code. And I know a lot of you are doing this, so let me show you the right way. Let's pretend this is the code that I want to copy. And I'm going to copy it over here. Here's the worst thing you can do. Don't do this. I've seen people do it. But if you're doing it, you should stop. Are you ready? Here's the worst thing. Okay, copy one line. Now I'm going to copy the other line. Now I'm going to copy the next line. And the next line. And the next line. So the computer doesn't care if you do it this way. It's fine with this. This will actually work. You could copy the whole program line by line just like this and, and it'll still work but it's still the worst thing you can do okay well why is it bad partly it's bad because you're not respecting the indentation there are spaces here that although the computer doesn't care about them human beings care about them it makes the code much easier to read so here's how you can do it a little bit better this is still not the best thing but I'll show you a slightly better way I come over here and I type the first line and then I indent and I type the next line and then I indent and I type the next line and I indent and type the next line now I indent twice I'm being careful to respect the indentation and so on so this is a little better a little better because at least your code is now indented, it'll be much easier to read when you're finished. But this is still not the best way to do it. And the reason it's not the best way is it's you're still typing in the code line by line by line. This is what everyone I've seen is doing so far. When you're copying code, it's important to do it in the right way. And the right way is actually not line by line by line. The right way, the way I would do it, the way that any black belt programmer would do it would be something like this you type the HTML the first line that's fine and then the very next thing that I would type actually would be h slash HTML so that's pretty crazy right I just type the first line and then I actually type the last line that's the second thing I typed and why did I do that well I did it because they go together this is the HTML open tag, and this is the HTML close tag, and everything in between is considered to be inside of the HTML tags. It belongs to it. Sometimes people say it's a child of the HTML tags, or they say that the HTML tags are the parent of everything inside. So I type the open tag, and then I type the close tag, and then I make a space and I go inside to start typing everything that's inside those tags. So what's next? Then I type head, and you notice the head tag is followed by a close tag immediately, so there's nothing actually inside. So that's okay for me to type the first line and the second line, because I'm still typing two lines that go together. But what's next? Well, now we have a body tag, and what's the next thing I'm going to type? I'll let you guess. If you guessed the closed body tag, then you're right. So what did I do? I typed this one, and then I typed this one. I skipped over everything that's inside, but that's what I'm going to type next. So now I go inside of the body tag. I start typing the header, and I'll go ahead and do the on click equals say hi. And now what? I'm going to type the closed header tag. And then I'm going to type what's inside the click me. So I'm notice I'm never going line by line. Even, even just with these three lines, I didn't type this line, then this line, then this line. I first type this line, and then this line, and then this line. So I'm always going outside in. That's the outside and then the inside. I'm going to do the exact same thing with the script tags. Script, what's next?
script. Open script tag, close script tag. And then I'll type what's inside, which is what? Function say hi. Now, here's a tricky one. What do you think I'm going to type next? What's the next line? It's actually a closed curly brace. That's what I would type next, and that's what you should type next. Why is that? Well, it's because this code all goes together. A function is a big chunk of code that happens to have a name. This function's name is say hi, and the chunk of code is this. So you can think of these lines of code as belonging to this function. So that's why I first type function say hi, and then since I've typed the open curly brace, I also want to type the close curly brace. And only after I've done that will I actually come in to the function and type the lines that belong to it. And now I'm finished. But you notice that no point did I start typing line by line by line by line. 